FCC, uh, as has been referred to previously, has adopted a national broadband plan uh, that was driven by a concern that the United States ranks not at the top of nations around the world in broadband uh, deployment and take up. Um, the chairman of the FCC, and it's the FCC that's adopted the broadband plan, has said that the future of the Internet is wireless and the future of wireless is the Internet. And now we really have to get to true ubiquity. True ubiquity is a challenge uh, and, of course, an opportunity as well. There have been studies that estimate that ubiquitous broadband in the United States would produce around a half a trillion dollars of economic growth per year. Uh, Wireless broadband is estimated to generate $860 billion in GDP gains over the next decade. To reap all the benefits of wireless broadband, as I said earlier, uh, there are really two ingredients, spectrum and infrastructure. Uh, spectrum fights in the United States are, are slow, they're expensive, they are uh, brutal and bloody. The FCC is a fair ways along in identifying the first 300 megahertz, and that's always a big challenge. And so to the extent the Commission's been able immediately upon publication of the National Broadband Plan to start to identify some significant chunks of that first 300 megahertz, that's very good news indeed. Now on the infrastructure side, it's a much more complicated challenge. We could use a lot more infrastructure today we are clearly going to need tremendous additional amounts of infrastructure over this next five and ten year period from the projections that you've already heard. Wireless siting is controlled to the largest degree at the local level. Uh, localities may in general support broadband ubiquity and other, and other wireless projects, but they get wrapped around some pretty severe local political axles when it comes to siting applications. They're slow, they're resistant, they're dubious, in some cases they're downright hostile. But something is going to have to change to allow that infrastructure to come online at a fast enough pace to support the requirements, the needs, and the demands of the wireless networks. We, as, a, as an association, have already started working with Congress to try to start to lay a foundation for some change in the way wireless infrastructure siting is managed. The message of 4G is there are great opportunities and even and great challenges that go with them to make it happen and to make it happen in a timely, cost-effective, user-friendly way for the, the literally everybody now who is taking advantage of the wireless networks in the United States and worldwide.